Hi, today I'm going to teach you how to make gingerbread. I have all of my ingredients pre-measured, so I'm just gonna get started. First of all, I'm going to cream together a stick of butter at room temperature and a cup of raw sugar. Not brown sugar or white sugar, but raw sugar. If you don't have a standing mixer like this, you can use a handheld mixer as well, so don't worry about the fancy product. And while that's creaming, I'm actually going to um, sift together the dry ingredients. Now what I like to do when I'm sifting dry ingredients, I like to put it on a piece of parchment paper so it's easier to put it into the standing mixer rather than from a bowl. I'm gonna put two cups of flour, all-purpose flour, a teaspoon and a half of ground dried ginger, a teaspoon and a half of baking soda, a teaspoon of cinnamon, a half a teaspoon of salt, a half a teaspoon of ground cloves, and a quarter of a teaspoon of ground nutmeg. You need to sift, otherwise sometimes there's clumps inside of the, the finished product. Um, clumps of whatever, baking soda or flour. Sifting gets rid of all of that. And before I add this into the mixer, I'm going to stir together um, a cup of stout beer. I prefer to use Guinness because it's my favorite beer. And a cup of molasses. And please keep in mind, when you're measuring for baking, there's a big difference when you're measuring liquid ingredients and dry ingredients into the measuring cups. You're gonna always wanna use a liquid measuring cup for liquid ingredients and dry measuring cups for dry ones, because it does make a difference. So mix the two together until the molasses is dissolved. Okay, now before I add this, I'm gonna add three eggs, and I'm gonna add the eggs one at a time. So once those are incorporated together, you're gonna to add the liquid ingredient and the dry ingredient, and you're gonna alternate it when you add it. Um, and you're gonna do the dry ingredients very slowly on a slow speed, otherwise it's gonna poof up into a cloud and you're gonna be a Christmas ghost or whatever. So, on very slow speed, I'm going to add these one at a time. And I'm gonna higher the speed up just a little bit because now it's not gonna poof up into my face. Maybe the third, third up from the lowest. Perfect. And you're gonna pour it into a bread pan that's been lightly oiled or sprayed with cooking spray. Scrape all the sides so no batter is left behind. And you're gonna put it into an oven that's been preheated to 350 degrees for 35 minutes. So after cooling, I put it on a plate and now I'm gonna dust it with powdered sugar. 
just a little bit. And this is how you make gingerbread. Thank you for watching. If you would like to see me cook anything else, send us an email at request at mahalo.com or watch any of these other videos.